Make that chopper fly. Welcome, friends, to an animation build. My friend Paul owns this fabulous module, which includes fiber optic lighting and a Coast Guard chopper on a helipad. Paul published an article in Model Railroad Magazine on fiber optic lighting. You should check it out. This build will raise the chopper and rotate the propeller. So let's go. Scratch builds generally command a pile of supplies. This build is no different. It includes making a plastic bracket and then using various metal and plastic tubes, a motor to lift and a motor to spin. And these are controlled by an Illigo Uno R3 control board. I originally tried to lift the chopper using leverage, but that failed. And so I moved my ideas to an Ender 3 Pro printer and a file found online. That file creates a rack and pinion setup. A little, a little bit of trial and error comes with this type of build. So placing all the components next to each other in and on a bracket is a key feature. The lifting motor is a standard SG90 servo motor. It's found in a super starter kit of the Uno R3 project. I recommend getting one of those and I'll leave the link below. But I will not be using the horn attachments that come with it. Just the wheel printed with the gear rack. And that gear rack is printed is found in a file online at Thingiverse. The mount also includes a correct placement for the servo motor to engage that gear rack. Pre-drilling holes in the bracket and mounting the components takes a little bit of time. I also cut and shorted the, shortened the wiring and soldered them all back together just to help clean up the underneath of the module. Test fitting and trimming the metal fittings was also time consuming. The Eligo board was also mounted to protect it from any damage. We did not want the propeller to be spinning so fast as to cause a hazard. A low RPM motor was used to simulate the activity of a flying helicopter. The lifting servo motor also had planned delays in the programming sketch, simulating liftoff, landing, and hovering. All the components are just about attached to the bracket. Now just need to make sure the motors are engaged and the wires are all hooked up. The servo lift motor, gear and rack all had to be meshed together to lift the chopper to the proper height and lower it back down to the pad. Also, the code had to be written to lift and lower the chopper and pause at the top and bottom to simulate prior to takeoff and hover action. With everything fitted into place and working, it was time to install the bracket below the module. 
I had to work around the fiber, fiber optics so not to damage them, no problem. The metal connectors, the metal tubes were connected to the motor and the propeller. The plastic tube carried the weight of the chopper. Testing, testing. Looks like it's working all together underneath. Here is the Arduino code for this project. Top side, the chopper is sitting on the pad, ready for pre-takeoff, and there it goes. I had fun with this project here animating the helicopter for Paul on his Coast Guard uh, module. Can't wait to see it at the next train show. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please share and come back again for our next video. Thanks.